You did not just check the clock. Just how late it is. Can we break a record? A.M. or P.M.? You talk too much. P.M. Way, way P.M. Oh, who cares? I put on one of my shower gifts for you and we can stay in bed all day long if we so decide. Because we are newlyweds. I do seem to recall a wedding. Yeah, it wasn't pretty, but memorable. And now we are officially, legally, forever an us. Is that okay? I've gone over this so many times. Just trying to find a way to say it. That would make it... What? Forgivable. Forgivable? Why don't you just tell me what it is? I've been lying to you. About? My son. You're a little early. That was you? When the text came up, the number... I used somebody else's phone because I was afraid that if you thought it was me, then you would come up with an excuse not to show so why did you want me to come here and meet you? What, do I need an excuse to show my wife a little romance? No. It's, it's just that, no, um, neither one of us has really felt very romantic lately. That's why I thought today would be a good day to start reversing that trend. Why today? Happy second anniversary, Mrs. McMahon. Did you just say? You heard me. I'm taking Sam. You'll be lucky if you leave here with all of your fingers intact. You know, I've been on death row, sunshine. You know what we did to big, scary guys like you there? Okay, you know what, Todd? You better go. No, if you're really kicking me out, I'm taking my son. That's final. So cough him up. Now. But what about your other kids? You really want to take them away and separate them from their brother? They won't be separated for long. What's that supposed to mean? That's it. Are you threatening me? I've had enough of your smack, yeah, man. We're home. Get the hell out. No. Do not make a scene, Todd. I'm here, Dorian. Hey, Jack. Did you find Star? Yes, yeah, she's up. She's upstairs with, with Sam. Jack. Jack. Hey. What are you doing home from school so early? It was a half day because the teachers had a meeting. Well, maybe you and I can do something. <laughs> yeah. Don't you dare. Herbie's okay. been through a lot, honey. Oh, so that's why you're having a bad dream? <sighs> sure. And it was probably about Afghanistan, right? Because you were talking about Muji's and bugging out. That means Mujahideen and beating your retreat. How'd you learn so much? Shane's pen pals with a platoon in Baghdad. He knows all there is to know, according to him. I told that pug that snafu wasn't our fault. <laughs> oh, yeah. How'd it go down? He flash blasted me anyway. <laughs> Embrace the suck, soldier. Hey, can you teach me more? Uh, yeah, I would. Um, 
I've just been a civilian for a while now, so I'm not sure I'd be up to date. Oh, but could you still tell me about all that you did in Afghanistan? Unless it's classified, I mean. Shane, your dad has had a late night. Why don't we let him get cleaned up and then the two of you can talk later, okay? Yeah, I am a little tired. I had a hard time getting to sleep last night. Yeah, that's why we went out the back this morning. We didn't want to wait. Why don't you get in the shower? It'll make you feel better. Right. I'll do that. That's weird. What is? That my dad is back. I feel like I'm dreaming. <laughs> yeah, me too. But he's a really cool guy, isn't he? Yeah. Real cool. You know, go come wash my back. The mood I'm in, you'd need a skin graft. And what changed? You were an aesthetically happy newlywed a few minutes ago. Yeah. Then? I saw this. Oh. Well, at least I got your good side. But, but then all your sides are good. Anyway, who cares what Todd says? To quote Roxy, the guy's a plotka macher, which, which, which is a troublemaker in case your Yiddish is rusty. You always know how to cheer me up. And that's why I love you so much. That's it? My killer abs have nothing to do with it? That too. I am a happily married woman, so to hell with Todd. He's just a miserable, depressing person who gets off on making other people miserable. That about sums it up. So why don't you go get cleaned up and I make you an incredible breakfast? Belgian waffle sundaes by any chance? I can't seem to find the waffle iron. Hold on, hold on. I do seem to recall... What? Yes, yes, here it is. Someone had the good sense to give us the all-powerful Waffle Iron Maiden 3000. Oh, wow, somebody knows you backwards and forwards, huh? Let's see who was brilliant enough to give us the... What? Who's it from? Read the card. <sighs> um, it's time to get your griddle on. Yours, Gigi and Shane Marasco. Gigi and Shane. Thoughtful. Yeah, you know, oatmeal sounds kind of good. No! I promised my husband waffles, and that's what he's getting. Uh, hey, by the way, wh why are you hiding forks in your desk? What? Right here. I was getting our passports out, and I nearly stuck myself. Oh, uh, yeah. So, why was it in your desk? Uh, um... Uh, because it's got DNA all over it, and I didn't want anyone to eat with it. DNA? Who's? Charlie's. You've been lying about your son? Which one? Rex. Okay, okay wait a minute. Whatever this thing is you've been lying about, is this something that, that I really need to know? What do you mean? Charlie, when you and I met in Texas, I was not exactly forthcoming about who I was, you know. Well, no, no, but that doesn't really matter. I mean, as far as I'm concerned, you are the woman who I met in Paris. Nothing has changed there. Okay. But, I mean, whatever's going on between you and Rex may very well be none of my business. No, but it really does affect us, and that's why you need to know that... <sighs> Rex is not my son. So where can we go? Listen, sweetie, I want you to hang out with me today, okay? But what about Dad? Well, Jack, I could use some time to talk to your mom alone. Uh, would it be all right if you just went into the living room? Thank you. Welcome. What's going on? Why didn't you return my calls? What's Todd up to now? I've thrown them out. Oh, no, 
Thank you.